I want to tell you why I love, love Pesach and especially Pesach food. Uh, I opened up my boxes of Pesach and the first time I made Pesach myself, uh, my son who is now 22 was a baby. He was only a few months old and I bought all the Pesach like plates to be, you know, cute for a nine month old child. <laughs> so every year come Pesach, we're eating on bears and orange plates. Uh, so I love that memory and it hits me really strongly. I guess when you see something year round, the memory isn't there, but when you just bring it out once a year, it's lovely. Uh, and I also love the old family recipes. And I think because we only make them once a year, we don't play around with them. We don't try to cut down the oil or the fat because it's just that once a year. And I think they stay really, really unchanged because of that. So what I'm sharing with you is my Aunt Yudis's Pesach cookies. They are delicious and um, the kids love them and we make them and they make a huge amount. So follow along because this is super easy, super simple, but the results are incredible. So in my not very cute bowl, uh, all my Pesach stuff is as it is. Uh, we're going to add two cups of sugar, two cups of potato starch, two cups of what's called cake meal or super fine matzo meal. You could see that it's like really, really fine. And that's going in along with 100 grams, which is 10 packets of uh, vanilla sugar. So it really does make the most of all like those Pesach ingredients. And we're just going to give it a good mix and we're going to try to break down all the like lumps of potato starch. So it doesn't look that promising yet. And you're like, okay, where is the like amazingness? And I think the amazingness of this cookie is in the texture. What we're gonna get is this really crumbly cookie and it is so delicious. I don't even know how to explain it. So you can see most of the lumps are gone. And to that, I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of oil and four eggs, which I've checked, are all going in there. And we're just going to mix it. We are still ages away from baking because once this mix comes together, we're going to roll it into logs um, using baking paper and freeze the mixture. Once it's like totally solidly frozen, we're going to slice and bake. And you got to love a slice and bake cookie, uh, especially a slice and bake Pesach cookie. And trust me on this, you're going to love it. So our sugar cookies have been in the freezer. You could see I'm already like slicing and baking. It didn't take very long at all. So here is my roll. Um, and basically you just slice away and there's something deeply satisfying um, in slicing a frozen roll of dough. And I know they don't look like those gorgeous spready cookies. Uh, they're amazing, amazing Pesach recipes for chocolate chip cookies and for um, Tom, we put out a great recipe for chocolate brownie cookies. Those are all available, macaroons, coconut, almond, you name it. But these are like serious Pesach cookie, I think because of the matzo meal that goes into them. And for me, they're just nostalgia. So there are two options here. You can either put the cookie down and sprinkle it with sugar and press the sugar in, or what I find easier is to just drop the cookie and press it into the sugar. Um, you would think there is enough sugar in here, but it's actually not all that sweet. It does need this little bit of a sugar coating to kind of elevate it. Um, and let me just show you, let me take a break from coating the cookies. Here is a tray of cookies that just came out of the oven. So they don't look much different to the cookies that went, that are going into the oven. You can see that. Um, and I think I have a tray of cookies ready to come out. Let's have a look. Woo! Yes, we are ready. Check that out. So they are nice and ready. You can see that they've been in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and the bottom is cooked. 
the top is a little soft to the touch. It's going to get harder. Um, so on Pesach, a lot of the focus is on Seder. Seder is the big focus. I'll tell you my favorite part of Pesach. It isn't the Seder. Like the Seder is great and it is the focus, but it's the morning after. It's when my husband and I wake up early, bleary eyed. Um, he's ready, getting ready to go to shul. Uh, and we sit down for a cup of coffee and a Pesach cookie. And that's when Pesach really starts for me. And it's an incredible moment. Um, I'm still gonna have that this year because thank God my husband and two of my kids are home. I feel for the people who don't have that this year, make the cookies send them to someone, they'll appreciate it, they'll love it. Um, but from my kitchen to yours, wishing you all a beautiful, restful, peaceful Pesach, and that next year we will celebrate together in Jerusalem. See you all soon. Happy Pesach!